So we arrive at Love Field. Uh, we had the special car that we had flown in to use in San Antonio. And then we moved it from San Antonio to Dallas. And it was, the cars were waiting for us. That car was a Lincoln, specially fabricated automobile. It had a, the capability of a plastic bubble top being used. But we had instructions from the president that the only time that that bubble top was to be used was if it were inclement weather like rain or snow, or if Mrs. Kennedy's hair was gonna get all messed up because the wind was blowing too hard. Well, neither of those things existed, so no bubble top. So we're gonna, but that's what the trip was all about, exposure. They wanted as many people as possible to be able to see President and Mrs. Kennedy up close and personal. So we started out from Love Field, drive into the city, and the crowds just started to grow and grow and grow and grow. By the time we got to Main Street, the crowd was so large on each side of the street, at times it was difficult to get through the crowds. We had uh, motorcycle officers on each side of the car, and we just, uh, I, myself, I got up on the back of the car numerous times to be as close to Mrs. Kennedy as I could because our driver was, the president was in the right rear seat. Mrs. Kennedy was in the left rear. The driver started to keep the car to the left-hand side of the street to keep the president away from the crowd on the right. Well, that put Mrs. Kennedy right up next to the crowd. So I'd get up on the top of the back of the car and be as close to her as I could so that I could fend off anybody that was trying to do anything. I did that maybe four or five times going down Main Street. People were hanging out of windows, they were on balconies, they were on fire escapes, and it was a very friendly, enthusiastic crowd. The political people were just elated that everything was going so wonderful. Of course, we get down to Houston and we had to turn right onto Houston in order to get over on Elm to make a left to get on Stemmons Freeway. Now, there's been a lot of criticism about that particular move. They say, well, why didn't you go straight down Main Street? Well, the reason we couldn't do that was Main Street curved off to the left onto Stemmons Freeway. We needed to go off to the right because we needed to go to the trademark. Mm -hmm. And so we had to turn right on Houston and then the left on Elm, which put us right in front of the Texas School Book Depository. So in that area, the crowds had diminished considerably. Uh, the biggest crowds were on Main Street. So the, the turn from Houston onto Elm is very sharp. And so with these big cars, we had to slow way down. And we weren't on the back of the car. We were on the, I was on the car immediately behind. It's called the follow-up car. I was on the left side, which was Mrs. Kennedy's side. And I was in the forward position on a running board. And we made the turn onto Elm and we started down Elm toward the triple underpass. And I'm looking over to my left and there's this grassy area and there are a few people, not a lot. Then I, look, I was looking if straight ahead of us, there was this railroad over the top of this the highway. We were gonna go underneath it. And there were people up there, but there were also some police up there. We, we hadn't noticed anything about the uh, building itself, the Texas School Book Depository. We did know that there were, I think, three windows open on that side, but we didn't see anything that was unusual. So I was scanning, and then all of a sudden, I hear this explosive noise over my right shoulder. I didn't recognize it as a gunshot immediately, because apparently that there was some echo in that area. So, but I started to turn toward that noise. I, my head st I just started to turn to my right, but I only got as far as a presidential car because I saw what the president did. The president was sitting in the right rear and all of a sudden he went like this. And then he grabbed his throat and started to fall to his left. I then realized that it was a gunshot. So I jumped from my position on the follow-up car with the intent of getting running and getting up on top of the presidential vehicle, the rear of it there to form a shield there so that nothing additional could happen. I had to jump off the car and right to my left was a motorcycle officer. And I was running and uh, I didn't hear anything at that time, but they told me later while I ran, there was another shot. As I approached the president's car, I was just about grabbing the handle and I hear another shot. I not only heard that one, I, I felt it because the president at that time, he had fallen to his left farther like mm -hmm. this. Mrs. Kennedy's 
her right cheek was right up against his left. And he was down like in this position and the bullet hit him back here, but it came out here. It erupted right wow. here and a portion of the skull just flipped up and it was being held by the scalp and it just flapped forward and there was a hole in the skull. And I could see in that hole when I got up on top of there. But I, Mrs. Kennedy came up in the trunk at that time. She was trying to grab some of the material that came out of this wound because there was blood and brain matter, bone fragments, all kinds of stuff. And so I got a hold of her and I put her in the back seat. Then he fell farther to his left. The president fell with her, his head in her lap and the right side was up so I could see in this wound. And all the brain matter was gone in that area, just completely gone. And his eyes were fixed and I assumed he was dead. Uh, it was fatal. Right there. Right there. I, it was a instant, instantaneous death. So I turned and gave a thumbs down to the other agents so that they'd know what the situation was. And I screamed at the driver to get us to a hospital. And he hit the accelerator and we started out. Chief Curry was in a car in front of us. He got right in front of us and he led us to Parkland Hospital. I got myself up. I wedged myself above President and Mrs. Kennedy in the back of the car and then hung on for dear life. We were going down Stemmons Freeway. 